but whenever we want to, it'll just be it'll just be ready. <laughs> That's gonna go in there. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Hi, welcome to our channel. Our channel is called AM Kato Channel. A stands for my first name, Akitoshi. And M stands for Meredith. And we're also morning people, so I guess it makes sense, AM. We currently live in America, but in a month from yesterday... It was today. Oh yeah, today actually. Today. A month from today, we're leaving to Japan. Yay! <laughs> Uh, we're gonna be there in Japan for two years uh, for my work and it happens to be where I grew up that's where I'm going back for work which is super cool and that's where my family is living all of my siblings my parents my grandparents everyone's there so it's nice to get to go back and live with them for two years so very excited about that and I've only really met his family like two times ish so we're gonna live really close to them so we'll finally get to hang out with them more and get to know them and it'll be a good experience for me and both of us yeah and um but yeah true <laughs> <laughs> anyway so what i wanted to do today was just to talk about i guess introduce ourselves through this uh video but also walk you guys through um what we call Ichigo Daifuku. It's just like mochi with sweet beans with strawberry in it. We're at the Asian market right now. We're gonna go inside and get some of the ingredients that you can't find at your normal grocery store. We're just gonna show you guys us shopping and then get to cooking. So that is actually what we're bringing to our Thanksgiving family mm -hmm. get together tomorrow. So it works out perfectly as well. Anyways, let's okay. go. I don't even know what you did. <laughs> oh, well, we're inside the Asian market right now, so kind of show you around what that kind of place looks like because it's a little bit different than your normal grocery store. So what do we need? What's the first ingredient? Potato starch. The reason that he's gonna look around for the ingredients is because this is the recipe, so obviously I'm gonna be no help right now. Ew! <laughs> this? No. What is this? Is that like, like the paste or? Yeah, but like I need like, the, yeah, paste. This is not paste, it's actually What beans. is that? Oh. If you want to find one of these in your town, just look up like Asian market, Oriental market, world market. I'm sure that there's one nearby, but you probably just don't like ever notice it because it has a different name or it's in like Asian writing. It is. Sweetened red bean paste. Koshia. Great. So are we okay. done here? Yeah, we're done here. This is good. Rikishi mochi. Just like this, like... I don't even know what this is actually. Or this like shell thing. And then that paste sweet bean inside and the mochi's inside. This goes well with like a hot tea. On your lip. Okay. Ah, gonna cool. enjoy our snack. Next we're gonna go to Kroger to get all the rest of the ingredients. Alright. Kroger now with all of the people in the whole world the day before Thanksgiving. Hello. We 
survived it. Yay! Do you like this cranberry stuff? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know to our zero subscribers. Do you like this stuff? Because I don't. A lot of people don't. It's very controversial. But Why? I, I would like eat this out of the can, like I have before. Why? I don't know. I mean, it's Why? Like kind Why do of. People hate it's it? kind of gross if you it think is? about it. Yeah, I mean, just like looking at it, it's nasty. But yeah. Seriously, <laughs> let me know so I know who my true friends are. Okay, so we just got back home and we're just gonna do a little test run of making this just in case that it goes terribly wrong and to see how long it takes because we'll make the rest of them tomorrow morning before we leave so they're fresh. Meet our dog. This is Sophie. She's 11 years old. <laughs> she, she sat down backwards to the camera. Taste test. I want to try this one. Mmm. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> good. Oh, good. I mean, simple. Yeah. Okay, well, they turned out all right. So, we'll see you tomorrow morning, right before we leave, to go to Thanksgiving. <laughs> Are they that good? <laughs> good morning! It's Thanksgiving! <laughs> Still enjoying the last one we made last night. And then this morning we're gonna finish making all the rest of them for my family. Yeah, I wanted to see like what it tastes like once we're in the fridge. Good thing we didn't make it last night because it's not as good. So good thing we were. So make fresh. it right before you're gonna eat it if you're gonna do this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so good. But... <laughs> I'm gonna put the subtitle over you talking. <laughs> Step one: wash the strawberries. Step two, cut the strawberries. Step dress, make balls with the sweet bean paste that goes inside the daifuku. Typically people put a lot of sweet bean paste inside daifuku, but me personally, I don't like to have a lot of them, so I'm making them small. Step four. So we're about to make the, the outside mochi portion. This is the ingredients that's on the website. Uh, we'll also put it on the screen next to me. But uh, I'm not gonna actually follow that just because it's gonna make six is what it says on the website. But when we're making a bite size, it's gonna be much smaller. And then I don't wanna hold on to this. I'm just gonna use this all of it. And this is about 120 grams. So I'm just gonna multiply all of this by 1.5. So it just portion wise, it's the same. But yeah, so we're just about to make the outside mochi portion. So first thing first, right now I have 120 grams of shira tamako, the white, white flour or the flour that makes mochi. 60 grams of sugar, so I'm gonna add 60 grams of sugar in here. Come on, come on 60. Oh. Hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> there. Hey. And then 135 mil milliliter of 
water. Last thing is just to mix them. Okay, so now that mochi is well mixed and smooth, it's time to put it in a microwave. You're supposed to use a 600 watts microwave. I honestly don't know what mine is. But yeah, you should first microwave for two minutes. Yeah, I like to. Personally, playing as I go, so I don't have to have a big load of things to do at the end. I don't. Okay, so it's done. The first portion is done. So first time it looks a little, it's starting to be like mochi a little bit. So you want to break that down and just stir it once again. So once again. Okay, so once they're well mixed, you want to microwave it one more time for a minute and a half. Step five, I think, is to just use this potato starch. In Japanese, it's katakuriko. But uh, you just want to put it on a flat surface. And this is just to use it once the mochi is ready, you want to use this to put it on the mochi so it's not sticky and you can eat it with your hands. So, I mean, I can't really say how much, just as much as you need. Again, the plate's hot, so be careful. And it should be in a pretty good condition. It's pretty good. It's like mochi. Okay, so once they're mixed, oh man, they're tough. You want to put it just on the potato starch so you can start to assemble the daifuku but they are very hot so please be careful not to burn yourself. So step six is to assemble the daifuku so you want to put those potato starch all over it so you can grab it without having to stick on your hands. Again it's really hot so please do be careful. And then once, once you have this mochi, honestly, it's up to you for the size. Again, for me, I like to have mine bite size. So I'm gonna rip it just enough for the bite size. Just keep putting the potato starch on it. Just kind of flatten it. And then you can do it many different ways. I like to have put strawberry glass but some people just put the sweet bean paste and then strawberry inside at the same time whatever works for you uh, again for me i like to have strawberry on top rather than inside so i'm just gonna do that later i'm just gonna wrap it around and then you can use like a cooking scissors or a little knife just you just wanna make a cut in the middle and then you just Put the strawberry in. There. <laughs> you got Ichigo Daifuku. Strawberry mochi. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe to us so you can see what we do over the next couple of years in Japan. We're gonna try to put one video a week. And we're going to travel as much as we can. Honestly, try to do every weekend. Go somewhere and film it and then show you guys around Japan. So. If you want to see what it's like to live in Japan and visit Japan, uh, please do subscribe. Uh, help us out. Okay, until the next video. Peace. Look at this. Oh yeah, looks so professional. Let's see how it is. Good.